Hello, my name is Dave Barrett. I'm the director of the library here at the Irish Cultural Center of New England. We'd like to welcome the folks from uh, Strokestown on the Great Hunger Museum. Uh, the work that they're doing is vitally important um, and we're very, very happy to have them here. And we're very happy with the work that they're doing. This recording that you're seeing now uh, and the others that you will see uh, produced tonight are important for a number of reasons. One of which uh, would be a family history or a genealogical reason. Um, it's very exciting to think that once these clips have been uh, archived, that at some point, maybe 50, 60, 70 years from now, somebody may be doing genealogical research, your genealogical research, uh, and, f and see an ancestor uh, or a relative that recorded these number of years back, um, uh, and here they are in kind of full living color. Uh, to us here at the Irish Cultural Center Library, where we do a great deal of genealogical research, this is very, very exciting to us. So, so uh, that's why we're so overjoyed to have the folks from the, uh, the Great Hunger Museum uh, here with us tonight. Uh, I would say uh, there is one of the projects that we're working on, we work on several projects here, but uh, uh, we've worked in conjunction with Quinnip Quinnipiac University uh, and uh, they actually have loaned us various art attacks and, um, uh, artifacts and objects of art that we've displayed here related to the uh, Great Famine. Um, uh, and that was just one project. We ran for like a two-month period, very well received and very educational for uh, Irish Americans especially. Uh, and it was good because, uh, for example, uh, Irish Americans would come in uh, and see this exhibit from Quinnipiac uh, and saying that they were here to see uh, the exhibit on the famine. When they left this room, they left saying that wow, that, that exhibition on the great hunger was amazing. I never knew. Those are the types of comments we were getting. So people learned that, uh, uh, that really calling it a famine was not the most accurate word to use. Um, and so now you'll find more people around here um, that have kind of taken the time to learn about their past, referring to it really as the great hunger or en um, uh, which is what we prefer to hear here in the Irish Cultural Center. One of the other projects that we were involved in was started by uh, two members of, of this library committee here at the Irish Cultural Center by the name of uh, uh, Dr. Bill O'Connell and his wife Rita O'Connell. They had found out um, at, at one point or another in their own research that there were a great number of Irish immigrants who came over during the hunger uh, and uh, they came into the port of Boston and only to be interred there. Uh, they didn't make it. They suffered a great deal of pain and hunger. They <clears throat> saw tremendous, tremendously horrific things. They made it all the way to the shores of the United States within view of the city of Boston and were quarantined and died at Deer Island. This this situation for Dr. Bill and, and Rita O'Connell was, was so horrific that they said, we, we have to do something about this. We have, to, we have to let more people know what happened here and about the people that are interred here on this very ground in an unmarked grave. So they set about doing the Deer Island Memorial Project. Well. Dr. Bill uh, and Rita O'Connell have since passed away, but their dream of of making this, bringing this to the to the public forefront, is about to be realized. Um, on um, May 25th of this year, 2019, 
Uh, there's going to be a dedication ceremony, a Celtic cross, and, um, uh, and other uh, types of decorations on Deer Island uh, that will forevermore uh, mark the resting place of well over 800 Irish immigrants who didn't make it to their, you know, salvation. Uh, so this is why this is why the work, and the, we're very passionate about it, as you can probably tell. This is this is why um, we we welcome the Great Hunger Museum um, and uh, wish them great success. And we would like people perhaps seeing this. Uh, if you haven't made your stories known about your people, please do so. Um, because it's vitally important. We can't lose our past, we can't lose our culture, and we can't lose our history, and this will help to maintain that. Thanks.